Hey friends, we're back with another home and DIY video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my husband's office makeover. We're kind of doing this into two parts in each wall. And today I'm gonna be giving you guys a couple of helpful tips when it comes to a DIY palette wall. I was so pleasantly surprised at how many of you absolutely loved this video a couple of months ago. And I had so many questions, I was so surprised. Um, a lot of you guys had questions on how we got these palettes for free. So what we do is we go inside of our local Home Depot. You can ask any hardware store. And we just asked if they had any extra they weren't gonna use and if they were going to toss them and they were more than happy to give them to us. We didn't use any stain or anything like that. This is just the natural look. Um, and so hopefully that answers the majority of your questions. And this is what it looked like finished in Brody's room. We wanted it to give it that rustic, you know, little boy truck vibe. So we actually did my husband's DIY palette wall first in his office and then our son's room second. I'm showing you guys this footage because it turned out exactly the same, but it went smoother when we installed it in my son's bedroom because we did top to bottom instead of what my husband's doing here, which is scattering it. Um, so we did learn a lot from the process of doing it both times, my husband doing it this time and myself helping with my son's room. If you are looking at doing a really budget friendly, also free <laughs> accent wall, this is a no brainer to do because the wood is free. And one thing I'd like to mention is that in my husband's office versus Brody's room, um, we did one wall white and one wall black. And I would highly recommend doing a black wall just because you will see through some of the creases and you'll see through to the white wall. And when it's the black wall, it's harder to see um, those little imperfections of what you see inside. So we decided to do that with Brody's wall and we're really, really happy we did so. Here is a glimpse of the DIY palette wall all accomplished. I added our crates and palette brackets here to do DIY shelves for my husband's cameras. And now I'm so excited to be unboxing this beautiful sofa from Article. So today we're gonna be unboxing their Cine Love Seat, which has a beautiful, almost like a classic modern look to it with those neutral tones. It's got awesome plush seating and it's got this like slick track arm, clean lines, I just love it. And I really love their wooden base with those slanted legs. It just has a really masculine look, which is what I'm going for in my husband's office. Now, ultimately I went with this sofa because not only was it going to be small enough to carry up the stairs, but it was also going to be big enough to hold two people on it. It's a perfect size and I feel like it was honestly such a win-win. I would love to know in the comment section down below where you guys are watching from and what home and DIY projects have you guys been trying to or doing during this Christmas season. I always love connecting with you guys in that comment section. So make sure to say hey, let me know what you're up to or if you're just watching just for fun. Now I've been getting a few questions, not a, not a lot, but a few questions on what my husband does for a living and I'm pretty sure it's because he's in a lot of my DIY videos and he helps and basically runs that parade of the DIY projects. And my husband and I own a lawn care company and so during the winter time, he's not working very much. And in the next months to come, he won't be working at all. And so we do the DIY projects while he's not working. And if you guys think it'd be fun to do a Q&A or anything like that, let me know in the comments section because I think that would be so, so fun to do. I just don't know if anybody would be interested in watching it. Now here I'm just putting pieces of one by six wood that I stained previously to make these DIY shelves kind of blend in with this area. Next, I am moving my husband's fridge that he has and I need to go to Costco and get him some of his favorite drinks. He loves Red Bull and um, stock up his fridge. I think that's just so fun, especially when he has his buddies over that help him film his commercials and things like that. I think it'd just be fun to have a little area where he could have some of his favorite drinks. Tell me what you want to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and move this sweet couch. You guys, I'm so happy with the way it looks. It looks like a little mini office space. And I know that sounds silly because it is an office, but I'm just 
so happy with the way it looks and I'm so excited for my husband that he'll have a space where if he has his friends over for recording, they have a place to sit that's not just a office desk. I just think it's so neat and I am excited over the, you know, silliest things when you're an adult sometimes. And so it's kind of like getting a new coffee maker or something like that. Okay, so now uh, you're going to see me eating milk chocolate almonds because those are like my go-to snacks right now. And I am just adding my husband's cameras, his GoPros, and his lenses to the little shelves right there. And my husband moved the Sin Mood. It is a really, really cool projector that the kids use. And it has Disney movies on it and things like that. And so they like to have it and watch it when they're upstairs. Husband moved it out of the way because he wanted it to look the way he liked it and that is perfectly fine. Next, I actually have these really cool frames and my husband put his favorite shirts in them. And we were gonna hang these up there, but we ended up deciding not to. And we went ahead and put this really cute truck sign. This is from Wells of Wisdom. And you guys are gonna see that in just a second. It's right here. It is a fall sign, but <laughs> I love it so much. My husband was like, I love this too. So we took it out of our garage and we brought it in here. And even though it is fall, my husband is happy with it. And I am happy with it temporarily until we find something that we absolutely love. We're not people who just go out and buy things to buy things. We really want to have a purpose behind them. And so we decided to use something that we already have. I don't care. Next, we're going to be adding this beautiful sconce from Article. This is their Leap Sconce Lamp in black. And I feel like it gives a beautiful kind of polished look. It's a metal matte finish and it brings kind of this classic design to life. I love that it's adjustable. So if he wants it over his sofa, he can. He can have it over his fridge area. And I just feel like it gives that modern rustic feel um, that's also masculine that we are going for upstairs. In one of our next videos to come, I'm really excited to be sharing the other side of this wall in my husband's office. I think you guys are really, really gonna love it. And here is a final look of this wall space. I hope you guys really enjoyed this DIY wall makeover for my husband's office. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below so I know what videos to make in the future. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys later, bye.